Yes, my son's in the market for life insurance, and my whole life I did term insurance. And at age 64, I see uh, how, how much how costly it is. Luckily, my wife and I are in a good way that we really don't need life insurance. But he's looking into whole life, and I really always had this, you know, conflict: whole life versus term. And I want to know your thoughts on it. Well, Ed, how old is your son? He's 32. Him and his wife have been married for four years. She's 30. So they're looking to get a policy out on both of them. They have okay. children? Chil yeah, children? No children. Okay. No children. Okay. They have a house. And I'm assuming they have a mortgage on the house and they have some, some debt, right. correct? Okay. How about how about retirement plans at work? They're doing well. They're, my son took after me. He's a very good saver. Good. 401Ks? He's in a 401. He's in a, and he's in a Roth. Good. Yeah, same with his wife. Are, okay. are both of them employed? And and you don't have to tell me how much, but is it fairly equal pay? Uh, they're both employed. Uh, my son makes more than my, his uh, wife, my daughter-in-law. But um, they're, they're running neck and neck at times. But they're doing well. Both of them are doing well. Okay. Uh, my opinion, I, I've been sort of, uh, you know, I've been doing this 35 years, Ed, and I've, I've kind of been in your school um, of, of, you know, there are some schools out there buy buy term and invest the difference kind of thing. Um, I, I over my career have have for for the young. I do believe that they need some life insurance. Um, they're very very young, uh, even though they're both employed. I mean the the idea of life insurance is to provide for those that are left behind in the event of a of an untimely death. And certainly at thirty, uh, there's there's a you know that, that's a young age and there's a lot of life left ahead of of one or both. And so there needs to be protection. I uh, heard a statistic last week, but I don't know if this is true. 5% of term policies are, cash, are, are uh, actually used for, for life. Mm -hmm. Most of them expire because they become so expensive. Sure. So I, in my practice, I've used a combination, Ed. I've used a combination of a whole life, which, will be, which the premiums will typically be higher and will also generate some cash value. And ultimately, uh, if the policy is 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 properly set up may have some cash value in the e later years where the pr the cash value will pay the premiums and ultimately it, it becomes uh, and the dividends ultimately becomes kind of a and I won't say a free policy but but it, it it won't be out of cash flow and then also the the term would I would use term also to take care maybe like a 20-year uh, term to take care of the next say 20 years while they're paying off the mortgage and and just doing things in life i mean uh, that that's kind of been my practice i don't know if joe will agree or disagree but i i would use a combination of both i uh, i'm a term kind of guy um i at one time owned whole life insurance until i saw the light um i you know the here's the advantage of whole life or universal life um or variable life is that it's a forced savings account and if your son does not have the discipline it sounds like he does to not save on the outside, that's one way to make it happen. What I would like to have him consider is buying the term insurance, and as Harry said earlier, invest the difference. Now that's the key, is investing the difference. Yep. And the way you do that, you set that up on an automatic bank draft, so every month, just like your insurance premium would go, it goes directly to your investment account, hopefully a broad array of mutual funds, and then he'll end up like you, Ed, where he's self-insured at retirement, he no longer needs the insurance. The purpose of insurance is to cover and fill a gap until you build up your estate like you did. It's not, it's not an investment plan. And unfortunately, it's sold as an investment plan by a lot of insurance people because people don't want to in, no, I shouldn't say, let me, let me rephrase this. Many people don't want to buy insurance because it doesn't benefit them directly. I mean, that may sound, but that's just unfortunately human nature. So when they show you this great insurance policy where how much money you're going to have at retirement, how you can get it out tax-free and all this other stuff. And believe me, there's, I've seen 101 different ways in which you can sell insurance and all, none of them add up. But I, I'm, I'm a believer that, that he ought, if he can say, if he's disciplined to save on the outside, to do the term insurance and, uh, and save the difference. Now, he's got to have enough insurance. And the good news with his situation is yeah. he's, he's, if he's in good health, he's young. Yeah. You know, have him go to SelectQuote. SelectQuote.com. You can get some quotes and take it from there. 
But the key is, is to save the difference, is to save money on a regular basis. Because even it, hopefully he and his wife are maxing out. They put in 19.5 per year in their retirement plans. That's what they ought to be doing. And then save everything over and above that and ultimately self-insure. Yeah, I, I agree. A lot, of, a lot of folks are selling life insurance, a whole life, and universal life as, a, as an investment. What you have to remember is the internal costs, mortality, morbidity costs, can be, can be quite high as you, as you age, obviously. Right. So um, I don't know if that helped, Ed. Does that, uh, does that make any uh, sense? The thought is, is that when you reach 65, when the cost of the term insurance gets prohibited, you don't need it anymore. Exactly. Hopefully. Exactly. Yeah. 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 The, the purpose behind it. Yeah. The purpose behind the insurance is to fill the gap, mm-hmm. which way you haven't been able to fill yet because you're still young and building an estate. So, uh, so I'm glad he's talking to you, and I'm glad you're talking to us. Thank you so much for your help. All right. I appreciate All right. the call. Have a great weekend.